Hello guys, welcome to the part 5 of modeling a stylized character in Maya tutorial. And, um, wow, I think I'm getting warmed up. Okay, now we're going to be focusing on the leg and the feet. So we can finalize the character then we'll go to texturing. But that's not uh, in this course. That will be in another series entirely, the texturing. Okay, so now let's start off by modeling the leg. Okay, so we're going to start with the pelvis. And actually went ahead and did that already but I'm just gonna show you how I did it so this is I'm gonna leave this as a reference right here okay so now what I have to do is go in I need to select this guy and add him to okay let me just okay I'll just select this one then I'll hard I'll create an edge loop right there. Okay, this create an edge loop right here. Mm -hmm. So I'll switch to my vertex mode. Select this vertex and this vertex. I'll move it down do the same for this one move it down do the same for this ok so So I'm just trying to create the pelvis here. Okay, I missed one vertex. Switch to this place, then move this up. I'm going to move this back a little bit to create the bot. Just like this. So let me just switch this, actually distracting, let me switch this off, so don't get distracted anymore. Okay, so move this in, it's looking sharp, I want to avoid that at all costs. Okay, so now that we have this, I'm going to extrude this edge and this edge just switch to my hedge mode move this and move this now hold alt and right click extrude and I'll switch to local then I'll move it down so now we have our pelvis hmm? so that's how it goes and I'm gonna switch back to my vertex and just move things around a little bit Just move this in then so now it's easier for me to extrude my leg out of this place but I need to join close this place up so the leg can come out of this hole so what I'll do is uh, I'll move this backwards I'll do the same for the back mm -hmm. so I need to extrude this one more time so I'll just press G oh sorry about that Let's just switch to my hedge mode. Now press G. Click on this. Mm -hmm. So it's not safe to move it like way. Okay, I'll move it this way. Then I'll move it down. Yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. So now I need to extrude it one more time. Yeah, then I'll do the same thing for the side. So I'll press G again. I'll click the switch. Move it back. You can see I'm actually working with the axis. I'm not moving it in between because so I don't want to distort the symmetry. 
okay so this is cool the next thing I'll go in and I can just keep extruding instead of moving from the back but I like to move from the back like this press G um, one so move this line do that again and move it in so that's all now I need to attach the vertices together mm? okay so switch to my vertex and move it in let's move this in as well move this okay so that was proven stubborn so I just move it backwards now I need to attach sorry about that so I'll switch to my merge vertices to so I'll just click on this So I'll click on this and I'll attach it to this. Click on this and attach it to this, and that's all for the pelvis. So now that we're done with the pelvis, you can see how the shape is coming out. And one more thing before we go further down, I would like to fix the shoulder. It's too close to the neck and makes it look really awkward. Although it's a stylized character, but just trying to compare it to the volume of the hand. And by the time we go for the, so just okay. I need, to sh I, I need to start from here like this so I just move the shoulder out a bit yeah like that so now we have the the lats from the back now the external obliques and the pelvis okay so I just move this down just to shape it out not nothing major okay so I think we can still reduce the size of the um, it's looking too big yep yeah, I think that's better compared to what we had before it's just too huge like really weird so now let's pull out the legs let's move as fast as we can so we can finish the series up in no time okay so now what we need to do is extrude it extrude this out switch to local um, yep so bring this down okay so this is where I need to rotate so I can get the orientation properly then I'll, after rotation I'll scale it in yeah like that so now let me switch on my reference again so we can just follow the flow of the legs okay look at how the muscle flowed like the um look at the skeleton just flows back because we need to get the silhouette right though it doesn't matter because it's a stylized character but it's not super stylized like the kind of characters we had in Tintin yeah something like that So I'll move this, just move it in. Okay, I think it's better this way. 
it's less distracting so I can just go in and scale it again yeah move it down 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 okay now if you look at the back it's looking so flat here so I just go in and shape this out okay like so then this part I'll bring this in pull this out sorry about that so I'll select all these guys so I'll go in and just yeah like so then I'll scale it up it's a mix up okay so scale it up like that move it in scale it down a bit So after I do the rotation, I still need to scale it down. You can just go ahead and extrude yours directly, but I'm just trying to get the shape right. So I follow the flow of the knee and the calf. So now I need to create the knee. I will select everything again. Um, the the edges, the border. I'll set the border edges. Then I'll just extrude. So I'll hold my shift and extrude. Click, drag, scale. Then press G again to extrude one more time. scale it in that's where the knee ends still gonna have to fix the position later on let me just skip extruding so I press G one more time and extrude just extrude to the yeah to the ankle like that then I'll scale it down okay so now what we need to do is add edge loops and adjust the overall shape of the leg so now the first edge loop I'm gonna add is for the calf I'm gonna add this edge loop here then I'll go ahead and switch to my vertex mode Let's select everything scale it up now move it back in the z-axis yeah like that so I just move these guys down
so we're actually getting somewhere here so let me switch this one off okay so let me switch it back on just get the knee right before we switch it off switch it off so let's just fix the knee looks really weird make that too sharp so for the knee you'll move this down sorry let's go to my front view so in the front view we switch this back on can I actually work with this so in the front view can go in and scale down top of the knee and just adjust it okay like that and do the same yeah mm -hmm. scale it down Okay, so now I'm just moving things around to make it look better. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and switch this off. I'll switch it back on. Let's move to the left view because we need to work with other views and get things right. Okay, so the front of the tie, bring that out. The back of the knee, bring that out. Okay, so and that's it for the the tie and the knee. So let's move back to the perspective view. Yeah, I need to put this in. Yes, can do that. So let's just smooth it out and see what it looks like. Okay, so we're done with the the tie and leg. Next thing we need to do is create the shoe for this character. I think his legs are a bit short, like a bit off compared to the body and um, I don't know if that's fine but let's just make it equal but you can go ahead and make yours um, shorter or longer but I'll just go in and work this out a bit just stretch it out so I'll move to my left view Just scale it down, and that's all. I 
I scaled it. So with the scaling, I, I was able to increase the length of the leg. So now we are seeing some sharp edges here, which we don't want. So I'll go in and adjust that. Switch to, and that's caused by this sharp edge here. So sharp. So I'll select this vertex and this vertex. Let's move them in. Like we've been doing in the previous tutorial, if you've not been following, if this is your first time watching this series, like this is the first part you are seeing, you need to go and see the previous ones. Um, this is part five. Okay, so okay, so we sorted this. Need to go in and adjust this like this. Okay, bring them closer. Okay, so now let's just go straight for the foot. Um, the shoe. We're not creating a foot for him, so it's gonna be a shoe and a sock. So we'll create a sock, then we'll duplicate to the side when we have a socks. Now let's create a box. Okay, before that, let's move this guy up so he aligns with the. Just go ahead and move him up like this. Yes. Mm -hmm. So now that that's set, so just go in and create a box. Polygons, polygon cube. So I create a box. So I'm just trying to shape the box. Just trying to shape the box for the um, the heel of the shoe. For the shoe heel. So I'll go in and move this around. So now that I'm done with that basic shape, it's nothing else. I've just um, scaled it either ways, but what I have to do now is um, extrude it here. Just pay attention to what I'm about to do here. It's gonna move this down just a bit. Then I'll go in and extrude. So I'll go in and extrude it. Hold shift my right click. So I'll move it up. Yeah, like this. Then I'll select this and press G to extrude again. Just extrude. I'll bring this down so it aligns with this. So I need to go to my left view. Okay. I'll extrude this one more time.
Okay, so now I'm back. What we're gonna do is we're gonna move this down to this level so we can actually then go in and adjust the vertices. Okay, so I'll move this up. I'll select all the vertices at the back, I'll just push it back a little bit, then bring this down to create the tip of the shoe, then this up a bit yeah like that so now we're actually getting somewhere with the shoe then the next thing I need to do is in the front view okay before I do that I need to um, bring the shoe down I need to bring it down to this level okay so Because we want the shoe to be look bigger, I'm um, sorry, longer. I'm gonna move this down forward just to make it cartoony, a little bit cartoony, and not so realistic. Okay, so now that we have this, it's easier for me to add an agile hedge loop here. You can just go in and add this edge loop right here. So this will be for the the sole of the shoe okay so now going this sole I think we need one more hedge loop right here yes something like this but well, that's too close use this offset edge loop what this is what it does it's very powerful so now that I've gotten that I'll just go in and Bring this down and go closer. Bring this down. Double click on the hedge to select the whole border. So I'll go in and add one more. Yes, yeah, so these two edges, uh, these two edge rims, I'm gonna select the both of them. So I'll select this as well. Let's zoom in. Okay, so now move to my okay I think let's let's dial back a little bit let's dial back let's dial back before we create the soul you need to get uh, the actual shape we need to get let's get the actual actual shape first so I'll go in and just rotate around a bit Then I'll, we need to have an hedge loop in the middle. Just like this. So with this, we can go in and select these two vertices. These two, move this out. So it will smooth actually looks better. So move this out. Then these ones we need to scale them out as well. Like this. So this we can go ahead and move this up or just work with the ones that on the side and move them down. So we need support edges in the middle before we do that so this one right here you can just go and create an edge loop on the side so select this as well move it to the side so select this uh, okay so now that we have this right there Mm -hmm. then we can we need to move these as well this and this okay so just to give it that shape mm -hmm. so now we have this on um, the heel 
so we need another hedge loop right here so by the time we scale this up so the best way to scale it is uh, we scale it on the z axis or scale it on the hex axis yes so we are good now that we have this figured out we need to move this up then we select these faces right here then we delete so after I deleted those faces now we are getting close to having our shoe but if we press 3 to smooth it out you can see we don't have enough support edges to support the geometry to give it the sh um, like this one we, it's hard edged it's supposed to have a, a hard edge yeah the hard surface the hard surface look so what we need to do is uh, give it more yes so we tighten up the the geometry the shape by having a, an edge you close to the hedge so now when we press 3 to smooth it out you can see we have our, our shape so we need to do that for the rest so we need to do the same thing for this side yeah like this so but the issue is um, you don't want this place to be that sharp so go in and stop that for now so let's for of all create the let me dial back so get that off let's create the sole of the shoe I'll bring this down yes like to this level mm -hmm. then because the sole is supposed to come out of the oh yeah under the shoe then followed by the heel so we need to use this offset edge loop on this tool so I'll click on an edge loop then it creates an offset just go in and double click on that then bring it down sorry about that bring this down do the same thing for this sorry So we need to do that one more time. So we'll create another hedge loop inside this place. So like that. So move this around. So you need to ad adjust uh, the position of the vices in front. So go to the side view. So move this up. Just select any vertices. Okay, select these vertices. That's fine. So switch to vertices rather. I said. Okay, so move this up. So I'll double, I'll click on one and double click on another to select the uh, but um the whole border around it. So I'll just move this up easily. So yeah, like that. So go in and select.
so I'll move these up um, yeah like that okay so I think I should move this down as well it's looking weird so just bring this down so now let's go back to our perspective so we need to actually get this out of the way it's looking messy so switch back to one need to move these guys up so I'll do that in my left view I'll just speed through it so I'll bring this up pull it out yeah like this do the same on the side bring this up So let's bring this in. So So, just select this guys. So I'll move to my front view. Then I'll just scale them in. So I'll go back to my perspective view. Tighten this edge loop right here. So that's tight. Do the same thing for this side. That's tight. do the same thing for these guys as well so by the time I smoke it out let's see what it looks like now so now we have a uh, this um, this hole right there so that's just what we wanted to get figure out now what we need to do is straighten up the sole so it looks right switch back to one all we need to do is just tighten it up switch back to one and tighten the base of the sole by adding an edge loop right on top of it yes like that okay so I'm back um, now that I got that out of the way now I've, I've tightened this place up as well 
we need to go in and okay now let me press 3 again to prove it okay so we have the sole of the shoe is it's locked down so I need to go back and press 1 press so I'm bring this down a little more just a little okay so we need to fix this side as well so I'll just go in and use my offset just loop just tighten this up do the same for this just tighten it up so now let's press 3 to preview it now we can see what, what it looks like. Uh, it's still a mess. Okay, it's still a mess. Switch back to edge loop and add an edge loop right here to block this off. So now let's see what it looks like. So what we need to do is move that loop down a little bit. No, well, it's not working. So, so switch back to one. Okay, this is the reason why it's not working. We need to have a loop here. We need to have a loop here, then we connect it. It's just a single loop. Okay. Okay, let me just work with this offset edge loop. Going in. Smooth that out. Looks really weird. Okay, just fix it. Okay, so I need to bounce back a little bit. It's alt, alt. Okay, Con Control Z. Let's press three at this point. Okay. So at this point, we have few edge loops. So can easily fix this. All I need to do now is add an edge loop right here for this guy. So it's yes, this one. So now let me smooth it out. See what it looks like. Okay. So we're getting close to solving that issue. So we can still add one more here. Press three. So we have one here. So we are pretty much done with the sole of the shoe by adding that hedge loop. So we need to move these vertices up a little, just like this. And I'm also thinking, okay, now that we have so much vertices here, I just move this one back. Select um, this and this together. Move this back. Select this and this. Just move them back like that. Let's go my left view. So.
so let's keep moving things around then. So now we need to select this vertices right here. Just bring them out like that. Mm -hmm. So this is ones on the side. push them down a little bit do the same thing for this one push them down no not that So I'll just go in and extrude Now put this down Now first of all pull it up Like this then Now press G again to extrude one more time now Scale it in then I'll switch or move it down. Then I'll do it for the one more last time. Now let's bring it down. Okay, so. Now that this is done, so I need to create the, the tongue of the shoe. Just put extra that out from one of the faces right there so what I'll do is I'll select this this face and this face these three faces okay so I click extrude and push this out and push this out like this so just add an edge loop in between just like this so oh, sorry I moved it in the in the wrong axis, so just bring this out. So now, if I press three, now we have a, a good looking shoe for now. Okay, now that we're done making the shoe, so we just finish this series up in the next tutorial by creating the, the shirt, the trouser, and the socks the same time next week don't forget to drop a comment below if you're not clear on something and if you have a, a good suggestion or observation you can feel free to drop it below kindly share this tutorial I would really appreciate that